so I am retrieving the current value of the name variable I'm interested in the uh, variable that I stored inside this user structure so this entire thing as I've already told you is working as an attribute but my focus is on the uh, variable named attribute uh, variable named that we named as name so uh, you can also see that I have named my getter method as the get name so I by the getter method or the get name this uh, name what we are infer uh, what we are relating to is that we are trying to retrieve the existing value of it Besides, when we retrieve the existing value of it from our constructor method, uh, from our constructor method, we inside our constructor method we have initially uh, we have initialized this name variable that we stored inside this attribute structure, and uh, this is also housed inside the user structure. But we retrieve that empty string and in inside that empty string uh, what we're doing with that empty string we are just returning it so we are return we are uh, limiting the exposure of our name variable so by providing uh, an encapsulated variable or by providing or returning the name or by retrieving the value of this name variable inside this boundary we are providing or limiting uh, we are limiting the exposure of that variable to the outside world besides when we limit the exposure to the outside world it means that this attributes can um, in in this context this attributes can only be uh, called inside our component so it will only persist from one component call to the other component call so when we talk about uh, the public modifier when we talk about the package uh, modifier when we talk about the private modifier this are uh, this uh, this access modifiers will also control or will additionally uh, control the exposure further of this um, uh, variables that we'll be looking at sometime later so so the first thing that we are doing to protect our variable is to in is to create them as an encapsulated variable and we do that by uh, by returning them or by providing them inside the methods body so this curly brace is the methods body so a function you might have some experience by uh, working with a function so these programming concepts are all derived from mathematics so when we talk about mathematics you might have encountered function uh, inside inside calculus so uh, in programming context it's a little different but a function what it does it's it itself is a sort of package so rather than repeating all the codes uh, from writing it all over again we just package them inside as if it's like um, it's like a starter kit you might have uh, used start starter kits uh, uh, before so if you go for buying uh, legos i guess they're called legos yep those uh, plastic toys which kids used to build castles buildings um, cities so those if you take those legos you'll be uh, you, those are actually sort of starter kits you take those legos and then what happens is that uh, you can build something out of them uh, sorry for that so you can build something out of this of out of those legos so the Lego is giving you uh, some sort of foundation to start with. It's giving you the materials to start with. So kids get the materials to start building their cities, their cars, uh, buildings, castles, and everything that they can I imagine. So this this function in our programming context is providing some sort of foundation so that we do not need to repeat that again and again 
Now, you build a structure, uh, taking the example of a building or taking the example of a skyscraper, it first needs to have a structure. It first, uh, I mean, it first needs to s have a base built uh, uh, at the bottom of the building. So usually the bases are built under the ground. The ground is dug up, then the base is built, and then the stories are uh, created. So before the stories are created, suppose uh, when we try to create the st uh, story, suppose the fil uh, building is five story high, and the designs for all the all the floors are the same. So what we do is we first create a foundational design for each uh, for a single story and we can take that design to we can then implement the design for every stories inside our building we don't need to repeat that design again and again suppose our building is 10 story high or 5 story high as i was uh, talking about a building with five floors and each floor is same but our architect is going to create uh, i mean when we talk when i mean what i mean by having the uh, being the same the floors being the same i i actually uh, i'm actually referring to uh, the designs being the same uh, being the same in all floors so the architect will have a foundational design so that foundational design will be created only once so a function is something like that that's the foundational design it will only be created once and then you can use that design to create or you can implement that design in all the 10 stories if it's a 10 story uh, high building if it's a 5 story high building you can implement that design in all of the floors so a function is something like that it's providing something to act upon it's providing it's pr defining the action for this component it's i mean it's defining the action for the object that we'll be creating so to define the option uh, action we need to do that inside our component as i've already told you this get name method is retrieving the existing value we need to retrieve that be, uh, uh, we need to retrieve the value of our name variable we haven't yet um, uh, we just create we just dec uh, initialized a value uh, we just initialized the variable of name with an empty string it does not actually contain anything yet but we haven't retrieved it the get name method or this getter method will retrieve that value and then when it retrieves the value we can then use that value inside our set name method or this setter method so what we get from this setter method is that as the name implies the setter method sets the user's value to our attribute so if you look at this uh, function carefully if you're totally new then you'll need to bear with me if, if you're totally new to this programming context so this setter method first we use the function uh, keyword to tell the compiler that we are going to now define and declare a function and then again this is an arbitrary value you can use any name to uh, you can you can use any name for your function but to make it relevant i have e i have named it as set method this is because this is a setter method this will set a value uh, to our attribute so inside the brackets it's followed by a bracket you can see that it follows a st similar style with all the functions first we use the function keyword then we use then we define a name perhaps it's also called an identifier so we define any arbitrary name i have named it init which means initialize uh, and then i have named my getter method to be get name i have named my um, setter method to be set name and my constructor method to be init as i've already told you so they are followed by two uh, they are followed by a bracket inside that bracket you usually don't see anything on in this methods but inside the setter method you do see something in here in in cold fusions context this is known as the argument and then you see uh, curly braces a starting curly brace and an ending curly brace this forms the 
body of the method or the function so in th so the first line is uh, you're telling the compiler that we're going to now declare a function so we declare the function with a name we provide a name so that we can refer to it using the name rather than using the keyword so to declare and define a function or to declare or define a method inside your component you need to use this keyword function followed by any arbitrary name you can choose any name or you can but make it relevant then it's followed by a bracket then again it's also followed by curly braces which forms the body now inside the body we define the behavior of that function or what will that function do it's the it's it's the sort of the meat of the uh, method inside this component now let's talk about what we have done inside this brackets we have provided an argument now when we uh, provide an argument I'll be showing you what I mean by passing an argument when we uh, create the object and when we call this when we invoke or call this method from our template file